All right, people, we're going to look a little more at how to use your craftware interface here. We're going to add a model again here. I'm going to add my mini monster truck. I'm going to add a set of rims. And I'm going to add the wheels just for fun. And we're going to get an idea of how to work with multiple objects on your, your build plate here. Now you see how the wheels are, are red. That's because they're sticking off uh, your build plate there. So what we need to do is select them by clicking on them. Oh, here we're using drop plane. Let's use our undo button to undo that. I'm going to click on move. And then I'm going to drag them. Now you notice how I can push it down underneath the build plate if I wanted to pull it up. Now the reason why it's sinking down through the build plate like that is because auto drop is not selected. Uh, because you don't want your part halfway through the build plate. That doesn't make any sense. What you want is you want the flat part of it oriented to the fat, flat part of the build plate. So what you do is you put on auto drop and so whenever you just barely move it, oh, look, it just automatically click, uh, oriented it so it's stuck right there on the build plate. So having auto drop on is a really easy way to make sure that your parts don't get oriented in a weird way uh, and that they're always uh, sitting flat on the print bed. Now, uh, there's another option called drop plane here that you'll see. And drop plane is less useful. Um, what drop plane lets you do is you can orient the whatever surface you click on to the print surface and what that to the print bed and what that means is let's say I, I click here on the top of my mini monster truck now the top of the, my mini monster truck is stuck to the print bed if I happen to want to print it that way I could do the same with these hubs but you notice it creates some issues uh, because I there's four of them here and I clicked on one of them and what it did was it oriented just the one so it's not a super useful uh, Tool. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to click undo here. Uh, I'm going to deselect it and I'm going to rotate my, I'm going to choose instead to rotate um, my monster truck so it's back on a normal orientation. There we go. And now I'm going to have my auto drop selected so I know that if I move it just a tiny little bit, and we're going to undo that again. We're going to go to move, auto drop, and I move it just a little bit and look up. Oh, it's oriented perfectly again. Okay, now just one more thing. Uh, let's say I don't want all this stuff on my build plate anymore. I've decided ah, I bit off a bit more than I can chew here. I want to get rid of some of this stuff. Just select it and hit the delete key on your keyboard and it'll go away. You can also select it and hit the remove key up at the top and that'll also remove it. So that's a couple of different ways you can, again, you, you learned what auto drop is, drop plane, uh, and you learned how to sort of manipulate multiple objects on the build plate. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. More soon.